Hold on, let me fix my mic. Not one. Yes, two. Coming again. At you with another video. We good? We good? I think we good now. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Post notifications so you know every time I drop a video. Comment down below. Thank you to everybody commenting. I greatly appreciate it. You, you look at my channel, you know, you know, I don't have many subscribers, but you're still commenting anyway. That means so much to me. And please, please, as I said in a previous video, the way to help this channel is to watch one of, one of my videos and immediately go watch another one right after. OK. We're past 2000 subs, man, and I'm, I'm very happy. I know it's not a, a huge number. There's plenty of other channels out here that have been uh, grinding less than I have and have way more subscribers, but we're not worried about any, anybody else. We're thankful. We thank the man up above, the creator of all things, God. I thank you, God, a forgiving God. I thank him for uh, allowing me to be able to hear and talk to you, ladies and gentlemen. So with that being said, we have another video I'm going to cook on. This is a very important video for you fellas in the dating market and um, just something for you guys to be aware of. Women in their 30s that are single and have no kids are extremely dangerous. It, and it's in 30s and up, okay? Because right around 30s, if you're not married or in a serious relationship, you know, by then, you know, the wall really starts to hit. And um, you just got to be careful as a man, you know, because a lot of women in their 30s that are single and don't have kids, you know, maybe maybe to you they seem happy, but they're really not. Deep down inside, they're really miserable. And they really uh, feel behind in life, especially if they have friends or family members that have kids, you know, they have serious relationships and husbands and whatnot. You know, they 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 feel like they, they're missing out on something in which they are. You know, it's not in a woman's nature to be in her 30s and be single and not have kids. You know, it's in women's natures to be to be nurturing, to be caring, to, to be comforting. You know what I'm saying? That's in a woman's nature. And a lot of the times what they've been to, what they've been through in their life, you know, um, a lot of mishaps in their upbringing can change that and make them bitter. But deep down inside, a woman is soft. A man just has to bring that out of her. If a woman is damaged, if she, she's been through a lot of heartache, a lot of heartbreak and seen a lot of, you know, painful stuff through her life and she turns cold, she turns bitter. The right man could come along and he could bring that soft side out of her. You know, we've all seen it on numerous occasions and I'm pretty sure you have, too. But yeah, man, you got to be careful. Also, a lot of these women that are um, single with no kids in their 30s, they're on uh, depressants. You know, they're on a, a lot of medication. And you as a man, you got to be careful, man. You can't be playing with these type of women, you know. And again, as I said on my video yesterday, YouTube is up here forever, man. It's the Internet as far as we know so far right now. Unless I choose to delete this video, this video is up here. So YouTube can be considered as educational. You don't need college when you have YouTube. You can find out so much information on YouTube. There are so many doctors, lawyers, et cetera, that are up here giving grade A information. So you don't, you don't need college. You know, this is free. YouTube is free, most of the videos, unless they have other videos on Patreon. But besides that, YouTube is free, and you could get a lot of knowledge up here, okay? So with that being said, um, a lot of these women, these women are on uh, different medications. And as a man, you out there dating, you know, especially if you're a handsome man, handsome men, beware, you know, as a handsome man out here, you playing with these women and you, you trying to be a player, you sleeping with this one, sleeping with that one. And they know you're not taking them serious, no commitment. You don't want to end up in, in a bad situation, man, with the law. You don't want to end up behind bars because she lied on you. She said you did this, you did that, you hit her, whatever the case is. You know, a lot of these women, again, they're depressed. They're in their 30s, no kids, single. They know that you're a handsome man. They would like for you to get in a long-term relationship with them. They would like for you to put a baby in them. And you smart, man. You always wearing a rubber. You, you, you're not stupid, you know? And that was me. You know, I was sleeping around with a bunch of different women in different ages, some in their 30s, you know, some single, some kids, some without kids. And uh, But I was always smart, man. Always had a rubber. And, you know, I was never doing, being crazy and reckless. But yeah, you fellas, you can't be crazy and reckless and uh, messing with these women and try to be a player. Just even having sex with them in general, even with protection, could still be dangerous, you know, because they're on, they're on antidepressants, man. They feel like 
their, their, their life is passing them by and you look like you would be a perfect father. You know, they, they may not even want to actually be with you in the long term. They may see that it's not going to work out because they know you're a player, but they just want that baby. And you're like, nah, I ain't giving you that baby, man. I'm always wearing a rubber. You, you never know what she's willing to do to try to get you to get her pregnant. She may set you up. She may do anything, you know, so you got to be careful with these women. All right. And um, another thing about women in their 30s that are single with no kids is you it's hard for you to change their ways. You know, it's hard for you to change, change their mentality, you know. Uh, again, like I said earlier, you know, the right man, the right man can, can bring it out of him, but it takes a, it takes a certain type of man and they, that may not be you. That may not be you. Life is short. And as a man, it's not our job to fix women, you know? So not every man is going to, going to want to be a fixer up, you know, some dudes call it captain save all. I know that's been a term, but a lot of dudes are not going to want to come around and try to fix up a woman. You know, but some of you dudes are, but that may not be you again. So you can't, you can't, you can't be playing. You can't be playing. You're wasting time and this may take a year, may take two years to get her out of her bitter state. That's up to you whether you want to go ahead and waste that time. That's up to you whether you think she's worth it or not. That's up to you. Okay. You got to be very careful with these women, man, because at the end of the day, when, when the law comes, when that police officer comes. And it's your word against hers, depending on how good her act is, you know, and it could be you that's going to jail, not her. And you don't want to end up in that situation. And you don't want to end up with a woman forcing you to be trapped, putting you in an awkward situation. Now you've got a kid that you didn't even really want. A lot of dudes put themselves in a situation. Don't let it be you, you know. Sometimes your family is telling you you got... Brothers like me, I, I had a brother as an example that has a lot of kids out of wedlock and I refuse to follow in those footsteps. I have female cousins that I grew up with saying they got kids that, and they're not with the baby's father. I refuse to be in their footsteps, you know? So a lot of times you you hearing it from a family member or a close friend, that's not good enough. You need to hear it from an outsider. A lot of people get, get information better when they hear it from an outsider. Thus, YouTube, Instagram, um, a homeboy they go to school with or somebody they work with. You hear their story and you're like, damn, man, you know, this this may solidify it. You know, one, two, three strikes you're out in baseball. It may be one, two, three people, the third person to tell you the same thing. You're like, all right, now I'm going to take it serious. Sometimes that's how it is in life. That may be you watching this. Hopefully that's you and you make a change Share or share it to the next person. Share it to the next person and let them make a change in their life. Stop playing with these women, man. These women are dangerous. Don't mess around and get caught up. Don't mess around and get the, the wrong woman pregnant. Don't mess around and get a woman pregnant that's that her, she's mentally ill. She's acting uh, one way this way and the next way she's acting crazy. Because like I said, their upbringing. A lot of women go through a lot. As men, we're very fortunate as men that we could sometimes we're younger and we could go to a homeboy house. But, but a lot of women, especially minority women, they grew up having to take care of their younger sister. Having to be the, the mom when the mom goes out and working or do whatever she know. You watch your little sister. Here's money to order pizza or here's this in the fridge. Heat, heat it up for him. A lot of minority women grew up that way. And I don't want to say black women. I'm trying to stop saying black people. I'm going to say melanated. And don't stop calling African-American because not everybody's African-American. All of our ancestors did not arrive here on ships. A lot of us were here. Thus far, Christopher Columbus. We realized he didn't discover America. There were people already here. Some of you people watching this are indig indigenous people like me. Some of you people have Native American in you. Some people were here or just American. You're not African-American. You're just American and you're melanated. I'm going to say that again. Some of you people watching this that are here, you are melanated and you are American, not African-American. You were here. Christopher Columbus saw your ancestors when he arrived. And with that being said, I don't want this video to be too much longer. But I want you to get the point. Women in their 30s without kids are very dangerous. Hence, a lot of these stories we see on the news. We're starting to see a lot of school teachers, female teachers. They're they molesting children that they work with. Molesting these little boys. Female teachers molesting little girls. It's coming up on the news. It's being exposed. Imagine the hundreds and thousands of others that are not being reported. These women be texting these little boys. They're nerving them to be texting them too. They're bold. I told you, I told you women in their thirties that are single with no kids and older, even older than thirties. They're mentally ill. 
I guarantee you a lot of those teachers that got caught, those teachers that got caught messing with those little boys, I guarantee you they were single and they were 30 or above and they had no kids. A mother with kids is going to be less likely, even if she's single. A single mother with a, with a kid or a daughter or a son is going to be less likely, not saying it won't happen, but she'll be less likely to be a teacher and go ahead and try to molest her students because she's a parent. She has that nurturing in her. She knows what it feels like. She won't want nobody doing that to her child. Even these sick, sadistic people that go out here and molesters, they won't want nobody to do that to their own family member. They'll do it to you, but they won't want nobody doing it to your own family member. Side note, little off topic, hip hop rappers, they'll promote that violence to you, but they won't promote it to their children. They don't want their children listening to that, rapping that, but they'll promote it to you, to your kids, to your community. Back to what we were talking about. Yeah, man, a lot of them teachers were sick and they were single mothers. Uh, I'm sorry. A lot of those teachers were sick and they were single with no children and no relationship, no serious relationship. It's sad, man. I gave you plenty of options. I gave you plenty of reasons to be careful with single women in their 30s. I gave them all to you. Replay this video. Replay it if you need to. Play it over and over until it gets get through your head till you get it. Be very careful. I'm not saying you can't date women that are single with no kids in their 30s. I'm just saying get to know them before you sleep with them. Because just like you release a lot of dopamine when you when you ejaculate, they release a lot of dopamine when they orgasm as well. And who knows what happens after that? Women are different, man. Women are all mental and they react just to offer of their emotions. You know how they're wired different with their hormones. We all know. We don't have to go deep down that rabbit hole scientifically. We know what it is. So don't play with them. Don't play with don't play yourself and don't play with these women. Take your life serious. Take your time. Get to know them before you lay down with them. Don't put yourself in a situ a vulnerable situation where they can lie on you and say you did this or you didn't do that. Make sure there's always cameras around or you're always recording when you're alone with them and you feel like they're about to start acting crazy. Even if you haven't slept with them yet, if you're just getting to know them and you feel like, yo, something's off about her and she try to press you in a conversation to wife her up, pressure you to adopt her to a, sorry, got a little crazy over there. I was about to say something stupid, but you know, she, she pressures you to do something you want, you don't want to do and have a child with her. Make sure you're recording, record everything. Cause you never know. All right. And again, be careful if you're, if you're a parent. If you are a parent, be careful letting these single women with no kids in their 30s or older babysit your children. Don't let them watch your children, all right? That's something you got to watch out for, too. You think they're all nice, they're sweet, they're good with them, be careful. Can't trust anybody. Don't put your children at risk, all right? Comment down below. Share this video again. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Post notifications. Thank you, everybody, if you're watching this and you're a part of, part of my subscribers and you help helped us get past 2,000. I just was happy to get to 2,000. We're, we're a little bit past it and growing, hopefully. I love you all. I really do. I mean that because I wouldn't even be at this 2,000 road if it wasn't for you. Peace and love.